Hey, what's up, people? Marco here. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the Dragon Box mod by J2P Mods. Now, this is, uh, well, I thought it was a typical, uh, you know, type of box mod that I was going to be handling, but I was pretty surprised with the performance, actually. This, this sort of blows all of his other creations out of the freaking water. I mean, in terms of durability, in terms of the aesthetics, in terms of the performance, I was pretty floored by this. So, it is a, um, it is a full mechanical box mod. You know, unlike other types of box mods that feature wiring and all that jazz, this is 100% full mechanical, so that means a whole lot less maintenance. The, uh, the specs, which I'm going to go over in a bit, and I'm going to have to take the atomizer off to show you. The, uh, the box itself is 22 millimeters thick, so that's just about enough room for the juice well. If you take a look at it right here, you see that the rims of the juice well are pretty damn flush. I mean, they're all the way to the edge, so I'm, uh, the, the dimensions on it is it's 22 millimeters thick, it is 48 millimeters across, and 93.7 millimeters running up top, so the height is at 93.7. It's very compact, as you can see, if you put it versus a, an 18 series battery, this is sort of what it looks like. So as you can see, they sit pretty damn flush. Now, the, uh, the material itself is made of T6 grade aluminum, so are the interiors, as you can see right there. Yeah, all aluminum all the way. We have silver plated copper contacts, including the, uh, the 510 connection right here, as it looks like. It is manually adjusted, so you got to take one of these flathead screwdrivers, pop it in, and you can adjust it going out or going inwards, depending on the height of the 510 male connection on your RDA or RTA, whichever you're going to be using on it. Now, the, uh, the end caps are brass. They're made of brass right here and right there. That's what they look like. So to tighten them down after you pop your batteries in, You just take a coin and screw them in. Now the magic of this uh, this box mod, although I find that it performs best with 18650 batteries, is they also accommodate 18490 and 18500 battery um, variants. Okay, the other uh, threads can be screwed in all the way to accommodate 18490, so it's going to be a lot more recessed. So you can see the uh, the end caps don't sit outwards. It has independent um, areas for the battery so you don't have to worry about battery wobble or shorting or um, you know stuff like that almost all the atomizers I have well all of them actually have sit nice and tight and flush on the uh, on the mod itself it has these ventilation um, holes on the uh, the side to prevent heating and the real cool thing about this is that I vape builds as low as 0 0.06 ohm on this thing and I haven't had any any sort of heating or anything like that because of the switch. Now, as you can see, it's uh, it's black. A lot of people were asking, is that plastic? No, it's not. It's actually a Delrin-coated um, copper switch. The magic happens inside, and I have not been given license to um, take the switch apart, but that's okay. Um, let me just show you. There you go. Alrighty. So the switch is Delrin. I have not had any heating issues on it given that I chain vape the hell out of this thing. I have my build set on a dual coil. This is a geyser atomizer. We got it set on dual setting. I'm gonna be popping some juice in and showing you how this uh, this bad boy performs. I'm gonna talk about the aesthetics a little later because um, J2P Mods, the creator, uh, John, has has a, a bit of a, a gimmick going on for his resellers and his distributors internationally that I'm going to be talking about in just a bit. So we got some uh, six milligram juice right here. I'll show you how this uh, this baby vapes. power is definitely there and I'm not even built all that low so what I like about it is that the switch has a bit of a recess if you look at it up close right there 
a bit of a recess to curb accidental misfires in your bag. You just have to apply a wee bit of pressure on it. Check it out. Very soft to the touch, very ergonomic design because of how small it is. Oh yeah, the, the, the print on the back is a bit of a custom thing that he gave me as a gift. Thank you very much, by the way. So, uh, about the aesthetics, what I was going to talk about is, it's, uh, I mentioned it is T6 grade aluminum, but it's got this anti-tarnish powder finish on it, so it's pretty scratch-proof. I mean, I could run the screwdriver across it like that, and you know, nothing. Get some. Check it out. And I'm running it pretty violently. I mean, this is a pretty ugly screwdriver, and check it out. I, I got nothing. So it makes it very um, scratch-proof, so you're not going to have any accidental... You know, if, if you got coins or shit in your bag, you're not going to have to worry about that. The, uh, the dragon emblem, uh, I actually preferred the engrave on the silver dragon, uh, the, the full-body engraving that it had. But this is pretty sweet, too. Um, well, it could have done away with, with, with the red, honestly. I mean, in my opinion. But, you know, all black would have been fine. But the real kicker is the custom print that he put on it. So he put, sort of put my face on it there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, the, the, the catch there is that for the resellers, if, if, uh, if there are any interested um, resellers who want to take, take on the box mod, for a minimum order of 50, you can get your, your shop logo or your personal, um, you know, your own personal touch put onto the mods, but you got to meet the 50, uh, the 50 piece order requirement. Now, in terms of performance, uh, I really can't say anything bad about it. That was the problem. I was talking to John about it and I was telling him, man, I'm having trouble putting this out because it's going to look really, really biased because I, I can't find any real cons. I mean, it doesn't heat up. It's pretty, it's pretty light for a full mech T6 grade box mod. It hits like a freaking champ. And I got to say, um, I've had some friends try this. I, I never build as low as 0 .04, .06, but I do have some buddies who do. I was over at a shop here at uh, here in, in in the Philippines called Vapors Icons uh, pretty recently. I had some of my buddies try it out, and they couldn't vape their builds that low with fully charged VTCs. They couldn't vape this shit. I mean, it was at the point where it was burning up their juices. That's how hard this thing hits. My voltmeter is pretty screwed up right now, so I wasn't able to take a drop test on it. But given how hard it hits, I mean, listen to that. Just check out that vapor coming out of it. I mean. It hits like a train, and I don't mean, you know, I, I am not exaggerating. Believe me, this is going to be $230 well spent. Uh, locally, for any uh, Philippine-based um, parties who are interested in, in purchasing this, you're going to have to contact John directly, okay? Uh, I'm going to put a link to his Facebook and his group page as well on, uh, on the video description. But for the international resellers, this is going at $230 as SRP, U.S. dollars. So... Uh, that would depend on where you pick it up. I'm not sure if he has exclusivity because his previous mods were carried exclusively by uh, by a single distributor. So for interested parties, you're going to have to talk to John about this. I'm not going to be able to um, I'm not going to be able to discuss it up front because uh, I I think he has some some agreements, some preset agreements already. I'm going to take a couple more pulls on this uh, on this beast and uh, show you one one last time. So this is at six mg. I can't take it all the way down. I sort of cut back on my nicotine and I got it on dual coil. But here goes. Hitting like a champ all the way. I gotta say, solid for all you um, 18650 duels or 18490 to 18500 dual junkies out there. This is pretty lightweight. I mean, with with two batteries in it, it just feels like a couple of these hundred mil bottles. I mean, pretty ergonomic, pretty pocket friendly, pretty light. I, I like how it just fits in my in my hand like that. Uh, I don't like hand grooves. I don't like bulky boxes. Anyone who's seen my videos knows that shit. I, I don't roll that way. I, I like it light and compact because I take this stuff to work. I mean, I carry it in my bag. I shove it in my pocket. I haven't had any misfires or anything. If you're, uh, if you're a bit of a prude when it comes to the switch and you're worried about it auto-firing in your bag, what, what I do, you know, if I feel that paranoid bit, is I just un loosen up the connections. So there's a bit of rattle when you loosen it up, obviously, but you ain't going to get any accidental fires and then when you're ready to when you're ready to rock and you want to take this thing out and take a couple of hits on it just tighten them back you got to go in i mean it the, the switch is just uh is just 
absolute magic for me because I'm not having any trouble with with the firing. You know when I got a vape, but it's not so soft as for it to but to uh, to auto fire in my pocket or in my bag. Even if I have some change lying around, and just check out the uh, the detail on this thing. I mean completely scratch retardant. I don't have any trouble with accidental scratches and shit like that. So, uh, to wrap it all up, of all the mechanical box mods I have, so far this is one of, no, this is probably king of the hill right now. I mean, in terms of, uh, of raw power and um, overall function. For the Philippine market, I find it a bit pricey, but the performance justifies it. I mean, if you're out for cloud chasing, you want to invest in a good mechanical box mod, just go for it. No regrets, absolutely no regrets. And um, you know, John's a pretty easy guy to talk to. I mean, just send him a message. He replies almost instantly. Uh, sometimes I wonder if the guy even sleeps because sometimes I'm talking to him at like two or three in the morning, and we're talking about box mod. And I'm like, what the fuck? Does this guy even sleep? But um, it, it, it's um, it's a pretty awesome device, I gotta say. Um, not not because not because he sent it over for review, not because he put my my mug on it, but damn, this thing this thing hits like a champ. I, I I'm just gonna give it one more pull before we go. Check out the clouds you're getting on this thing. I mean, wicked awesome stuff, wicked awesome stuff. So, Mr. J2P, thank you very much for sending this over. Pretty awesome device. Honestly, and I told John this, we were talking just, uh, just a while back. I told him, this stuff blows his other devices out of the water. I mean, this makes his other stuff look weak. And they're not weak in any sense. I mean, his other devices are pretty decent. But this, this makes those all look look like babies by comparison. This thing hits like a damn train. So uh, I'm going to put all the necessary information in the description. I'm going to share the, the, uh, the video in, a, in, in about a day or two once it's up. And uh, I hope you all had fun. This is my first time doing a selfie video again, by the way. So, yeah, I hope you don't mind. I think I get better lighting this way, but uh, it's because my buddy Don is uh, sort of busy right now. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking time to watch, and I hope you all had fun. So y'all big part, guys. Cheers.